Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, we're going to talk about Flux LoRa training tutorial. How to create realistic images with AI. Right here, I have so much samples for you to check out. All of these images are created using the Flux AI. And we're going to utilize this website, which is going to be called Shaker AI, because it has so much Flux models. That being said, I have a video about Shaker, a comprehensive tutorial, so please check it out. So this is going to be the landing page of Shaker. As promised, there is so much LoRa Flux AI going on here. Now to filter this so you don't have any hard time looking for it, click all types and look for the one that says LoRa. You also have Flux 1 for that one. You have SD 3.5. If I click on Flux right there and click on LoRa, so everything right here would be under the LoRa Flux 1 model. So you can use everything here by the way guys because this is going to be a free trial video. Now, speaking of free trial, let's go on the prices. Now, this is going to be the prices, which is going to be 200 tokens for the free trial, which is going to be reset once per day. Perfect. Welcome back to the video. So, I have chosen this one. It's going to be Fresh Ideas at Flux, Arantic Film Photography by Fresh Ideas. I chose this one because upon the rest, I think I like the results a lot more. Focusing on this run right here. Now, to use this one, of course, guys, you should only click on the run model right there. And I'll see you once inside. So welcome back to the video. Again guys, this is going to be our model right there. By default, this is going to be around 0.8 for the weight. As advised, the sweet spot for this one is going to be 0.7 or 0.8. So I suggest don't change this one if you're still a beginner. Now image references basically gives you the option to have your post change. For now, I'm going to set it as it is. Image size for this one, you're going to have 1x1, 3x3, 2x3, up to 4.3. I'm going to remain it as 3.4. You can also add your custom dimension here via the height and the width. Number of images, I'm going to go for 4. And then the sample method, I'm going to remain it as Euler. Sampling steps, everything here would be the same on default. Now what's the prompt should be? For the prompt for this one, I'm going to type in a short-haired woman wearing a white tank top standing in the streets of New York. So I'm going to have a very comprehensive prompt here. There is going to be an option that says street photography, impersonation pastoral. That's going to be a real prompts. For this, you also have improved prompt option. Basically gives you the option to improve your prompt starting from scratch. You can also add weight here. There is also an image to image option, which is going to be a reference image as discussed on my previous videos. Also have the delete all prompt for this one. And you're going to have the generate option for this. I'm going to simply click on answer for that one. And I'll get back to you once it's here. Well, welcome back to the video. We're going to have this results right here. We have four. And upon right there, there's going to be some differences I know. So we're going to adjust our strength a little bit. So coming from number 8 or 0 0.8, let's increase it to 0 point or rather 2.0. I'm not going to change the prompt here so we can have some of comparison to the two. Anyway, by the way, um, if you want to just download this one, simply click on that button right there. And it will be automatically downloaded in your PC with no problem at all. Simply click on this right here. You're going to have it on your computer. Easy as that. So you can download as much as you want here. Because again, guys, we have 200 free trial tokens. For example, you want to download this short here in the cities of New York. You can download it easily with that option right there. Pretty awesome, right? If I zoom in just a little bit, there's still some pixelated options. So let's increase the weight for that one. Generate, and I'll get back to you once it's here. Now, welcome back to the video. We're going to have these results right here, which is going to be the weight of 2.0. We also have this one right there, and this one right here. If you're going to ask me, the consistency right now is a bit more obvious. It's a bit more consistent, rather, versus for the ones we have right there. This is again guys 0.8 and 0.7. 2.0 gives you much more consistent characters. So please take note about that one and then you can simply download by that button right there and you'll be good to go. Now let's try another model. I'm gonna go to it right now. For the next model, it's still gonna be Flux which is gonna be Film Photos. I'm gonna run the model right now and I'll see you once inside. Perfect, welcome back to the video. Again, the model added is gonna be the Film Photos. Let me just zoom out just a little bit. Go to a blank Canva. Have our way around this one and for the prompt i have something prepared here so that would be the nation couple 
on Tokyo Street at night for the photography called Zone. Make sure this is enabled for the improved prompt. And I'll see you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. We're gonna have this results right here. As you can see it's a pretty good result. Comparing it with the previous model. So I suggest if you're really gonna look for the flux realistic, go for film photos. Again guys, if you want to download this one, simply click on that one right there. And I want to highlight that there are very minimal to zero minimal distortions on this photo right here. Pretty awesome, right? And by the way, we have tools here that we can work on. We have in-paint, upscale, real background, out-paint, and face swapper for this one. My favorite is going to be upscale. And by the way, I have explained everything here regarding my shaker comprehensive video. Again, so please check it out. Let me just upscale this one. So I'm going to select it, make sure it's selected and click on upscale. Right now it's currently being upscaled. I'm going to go for, let's go for, I think I'm going to go for 4X, click upscale and I'll get back to you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. This right here would be original photo. If I scroll down or scroll to the right slowly, you'll notice everything is changing. Even the makeup, the eyes, the color of the photo, even the clothes are gonna be really awesome. It's more bright now, right? That is the power of the upscale feature of this new Shaker AI. Take note about that one. Now going back in here, this is gonna be the landing page. Again guys, filter for Laura and filter for Flux so you have minimal choices. For example, this one right here, the Laura Flux Cinematic, that is gonna be an awesome tool so please check it out. Anyway, without further ado, I wanna now focus on training our very own Laura. So click on this option right here and I'll see you once inside. So welcome back to the video. Right here, this is where the part where we train our model. So first make sure you select on flux, not the flux rapid, okay? So choose flux right there and then basically for the checkpoint make sure this is also flux.1 dev. For the repeat and epoch make sure you retain this as it is because they're still in the battle phase and the best solution or best metrics is 10 and 6. Next up, let's upload our very own images. Take note guys, you have 200 images for this one that supports PNG, JPD, and of course JPEG. Or you can add in your existing dataset. For me, I'm going to upload my images for this one. Now for this one, you'll notice that I have, I think, 11 images. Take note guys, you'll see right there that they have the same file name. That is increasingly important because this will trigger our process later on. So make sure everything is going to be the same. I'm going to select everything, like so. And take note, the more the merrier, of course, the more images you have, the better you're going to get. But for now, I want to test it with 11. So I'm going to click on open for this one, currently uploading, and I'll get back to you once it's here. Perfect. Welcome back to the video. You see right there that they're all consistent because I've made this in mid journey. I have a video about mid journey, so please check them out. Next up, remember the keyword I gave you earlier? Let me just open my file explorer one more time for this one. Perfect. You'll see right there that the keyword is BERT. For this one, I'm going to enter the trigger words for this one. I'm going to make sure it's going to be BERT. So everything on this one will be tagged. That is the most important part for that one. Now, if you want to add some more images, for example, you can select add images right there and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to click on crack and tag for this one. This will take a few minutes. I'll get back to you once it's here. Perfect. So you'll know right there that they have been cropped because you'll know that the trigger words would be that one right there. Each name right there will have the keyword or trigger word bird. So let me just click on start for this one. You'll notice that this will cost 305 tokens but I still have 400. Now before I click start right here, there will be a sample prompt for this one. Basically I'm gonna remain as it is that will be one lady and click on start. Now right here, you'll see that this will take a few minutes because it's currently training. And I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. That took roughly around 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to have this sample right here. Take note, all of them are consistent. Let me just pull up the sample images we have, the one we used from earlier. So there they are. Let me just pull it right there. And as you can see, they're very consistent. Take note, guys, the key here would be the keyword trigger from earlier. So I'm going to click on test lower for this one. So welcome back to the video. This is the part where we're going to use our sample um, trainer from earlier. Before we get started, scroll down a little bit and go for model. Just looking for the one that says model here. There we have it. Now let's just choose one. I'm going to go with this one right there. And just increase the weight for two. 
going back on the prompt since the trigger word from earlier is bird that is why it's very important so for this one i'm gonna type in bird wearing a white tank top basically it's just gonna be that and then for the number of images generated you can now check if you want one two or three moreover for 4 18 and 16 those are gonna be for the paid subscription lower right here you're gonna have control net you're gonna have the sampling steps the width and the sampler method those are all the metrics but for now i'm gonna remain as it is and simply click on generate for this one so insufficient storage space for this one i'm gonna go for gallery and i'm just gonna delete something here so for this i'm gonna remove this one for that one this one again since i'm just clearing up my storage these are the images i got from last time now going back on text to image earlier just making sure everything is good here perfect i'm gonna go for three and simply click on generate right now now welcome back to the video and this is what we have here as you can see right there they're very consistent now i can simply click on download for this one choose one of each and simply click on download and i have it like a recruiter no problem at all and basically that's it so thank you so much for watching please hit the like button subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one goodbye for now